<laughs> Hi everyone! I don't know if this is right. I don't know if I have turned something around wrong or if I, because normally like things are in a certain place so I know, oh okay, and it does this countdown. I don't know. It just looks like it, it looks off. So I'm hoping that this is working. I think so. Oh, Christine's there. Oh, oh, thank you, Christine. Now I know. Okay, so this is working. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Hi, Christine. Hi, beautiful. What I am so excited about sharing today is because today, and this entire week, but today is National Psychic Week. I know. Super cool, isn't it? Okay. Hi, Carrie. Mwah, thank you. Um, I... I think I'm really excited because I, you know what, I, I don't know if this is going to mess everything up. I can't stand, like I'm trying to look over here and I'm feeling all wonky. Okay, so hang on, we're going to go for a spin. I think we're going to go for a spin. <laughs> there, I was trying to hide, truthfully. Okay, now you're just going to be all upside down. Am I upside down too? Can you tell me if I'm upside down? Christine or Carrie? Hello. Hello. Woohoo, so cool. Hi, Andrew, happy birthday. Okay, guys, am I upside down to you? Because, uh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Bless my heart. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Let me tell you something. Can we talk a minute? And Andrew, we'll get back to you in a second, but can we just talk? You know what? When your day starts out, like something is missing and you can't figure out what that missing thing is, now can you see what that missing thing is? So I got my nails for Donna's wedding and it's the middle one. <laughs> so that way, you know, when you're going through life and they could, especially like today, maybe something's going really crazy and you can say, yeah, mm -hmm, I can say one thing. I can do one thing that'll sum it all up. Yeah, this one girl said, well, that's because you use that finger so much. I swear to God, I do not. <laughs> but it was really clever of her, really funny. Anyway, Andrew, it's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. But it really is your birthday. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Andrew. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Yay! Well, for all of us, it is a huge celebration. So in 1965, Psychic Day, National Psychic Day, began because of some brilliant agent decided that he represented so many psychics and really wanted them to get in front of people, get them attention, and help you understand they are not charlatans. These people were the real deal. But you know what I'm talking about. You know in every avenue, every vocation, there are crazy people that try to take advantage of you. In fact, you're guilty of it. I know that's a horrible thing to hear, but you are guilty, and let me tell you why our egos, our egos, you know, here we think we've got it and we think that we're doing great and then our ego comes in, well, what makes you think you deserve that? What makes you think you can have that? Who told you you had all of the information necessary to make that happen? That's what I'm talking about and that is why we block our blessings. We block the things that we are meant to be receiving. We put up our own walls and sure, maybe someone picked up on that vibration of insecurity, of doubt, of fear, and they fed into it. Well, starting this week, and I hope you celebrate with me all week long, but especially today on National Psychic Day, I hope you listen to your own intuition because when you listen to your own tuition that's when those doors open up and you are no longer fighting for what you want to receive because you will already overcome that ego blocking those blessings so how can we tell is it really my intuition or is it just fear and my ego well sweetie if it's fear stopping you that's ego if you feel like, wow, she got it, so maybe I can't do it, that's not your intuition talking because your intuition would say, yes, you can, and I've got some other special ways for you to be able to do it. If you are blocking some way, I want you to please write it down. Write down, what do I want? What do I feel intuitively I'm supposed to be achieving? So, for example, we are going through today. Oh my gosh, 
I get so excited about this kind of stuff because your timing is impeccable. The timing today, we are under the lunar eclipse. So underneath that, that is the time to release everything that doesn't serve us. And underneath that full moon, you're able to see things so clearly. This is phenomenal. This is just amazing timing. So you understand why I'd be really excited for you. I'm excited for me. I have already made my list. I love this part. <laughs> Thank you. So when you are just taking a moment, and it doesn't have to be a long meditation, I just want you to search deep down. What did I really want to be when I was a little kid? What is it that really interests me? What do I have a natural hanging for? If you've been journaling, on and off throughout the years, you probably have a good idea of things that interest you, right? Right. So those are pretty much those paths you're meant to be going. Now I want you to think about what has stopped me. So let's say you wanted to be a famous baseball player and things didn't work out that way. Well, maybe because you were meant to be that famous surgeon. Maybe you were supposed to be that famous filmmaker that is now able to share not only stories of famous baseball players, but of famous surgeons, of people that are changing the lives all around. And my goodness, don't we need those uplifting stories right now? No matter what you are meant to be doing, it will have a positive slant to it. So three things that we can do to change this blockage into a barging through time, which is today. The first thing, and I know you're gonna get sick of hearing this, but you're gonna be journaling. I want you to journal three things at nighttime, three things that you're grateful for. I want you to write down three things that you really truly felt were signs that you are on your right path. It might be a song, it might be a license plate, it might be an image, whatever it is, you know what it is. Listen to that intuition. And the third thing, so you're grateful, the signs, and three things, what do you want? What are those dreams? And what do you love about yourself that makes you know you can achieve this? <sighs> three really powerful, important things. These are really imperative that you do. Because if you're feeling like, I just don't know about that for me, you're not going to achieve it. You're already cutting off that, that blessing. So those writing down those three things will already get you in that mindset, in that lane to making this come true. So let's say you're already doing the journaling, you're already talking to angels, you're already having that communication. Well, another thing would be a crystal. And this, is that right? Okay, here you go. Is that funny with that little nail missing? <laughs> anyway, oh, I don't even know how to hide it. I don't know how to hold it. So, <laughs> hi Katie, hi Monica. I don't know how to hold this so it doesn't look stupid. Anyway, there, that's a little bit better. There you go. This is a fire opal. Isn't that pretty? And it has all sorts of energy. It's It's got this power from the fire. You can see some ashes right there. See it? Okay, so the fire opal. And I'm going to read this verbatim just to make sure I don't miss something. So it encourages flashes of intuition, which you're already prepared for. You're already doing that. You're already getting the insight. It uncovers the mystery to things that helps you understand why you might be holding back and not allowing those blessings to fall upon you and to go through that. It helps you overcome those stressed out situations, that burn out feeling, you know, where you feel like I've been doing this over and over and I don't know why it hasn't happened yet. So I'm kind of giving up. It helps you overcome over all of that. And what I like, last but not least, it brings hope to any situation. That is the fire opal. And the third thing I want you to do, so first thing was journaling. Second thing was the fire opal. Third, last but not least, we are going to call on an animal totem. So when I call on an animal totem, what I'm doing is saying, you know what? I'm going to engage in that energy. I want to bring that energy forth and I am going to almost embody it, embrace it, and I have it so that I borrow their strength of that animal. So just think about if you had an older brother or older sister or someone that was your hero that you really looked up to and they just had this life, everything was going just perfectly in them, okay? 
that's what you do with that animal. They are just an older brother or older sister. They were here on this planet way before we were. So they know they have been around. One animal that I really love, especially during this time, because they work very much in that moon energy, is the hair. Now I know this is gonna be a little bit backwards. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to have it so it's you're able to download this and you're able to color it in or do whatever you would like with this. But when you see a hair, when you embody that, the thing I love about that hair energy is it's a 28 day cycle. You're already creating that change. This is perfect timing for that change because we have the lunar eclipse today and then we are going to go into the solar eclipse on the 21st. So you're already getting forward that energy, that um, edge and flow, ebb and flow. And all of the earth and the moon and the sun is about movement. And that's what we're doing right now. We're creating that movement. We're releasing the blockages so that we can bring in that new energy. The other thing that a rabbit or a hare brings is that sense of timing. They don't come out when the yard is full of our dogs, right? They know that's not a safe time to come out. They also make hops forward. So not only do they have good timing, but they also hop forward. They're not hopping backwards. They're not hopping to the side. They are making leaps and bounds forward. And the other thing is they don't necessarily go in this step, a little step, a little step. Sometimes they take major leaps and then come over here. So that is what it's going to be like right now. So you can cut through those blockages. So in other words, one night you might feel like you have a lot written and it was very, very easy. Another night it might feel like, oh gosh, this is a struggle. It's not just coming out for me today. Whatever is occurring, go with the flow. Remember, we are on that 28 day cycle. We are releasing today. We are journaling our three things, gratitude, our, um, our dreams, our desires, ourselves, why we are able to have it. And we are engaging with our fire opal. If we want to engage in a crystal, you might have a favorite crystal. That is perfectly fine to allow that vibration it's going to uplift you. Whatever your crystal is, it is going to uplift you and help you through this time, this transition into your energy, busting through those blockages and allowing those blessings to flow to you. Not just through you, but to you and, and mag be like a magnet so that it can come. This is the time. If you are watching this video, this truly is your time. You are not going to be tuned in and listen and get to this point if you are not ready to receive it. I'm so excited you're here. Thank you. Thank you. I am so honored and such a privilege to be able to share this with you. I'm excited to hear about all the great things going in your world. So please be sure to message me and let me know if you find this video helpful. Maybe you know someone else that would be able to benefit. Would you please share it with them? And if you haven't already, would you please like my page so I can be able to hear all those great things going on and be able to continue to hopefully encourage you and help you burst through any more blockages that come your way. Help. Hopefully you are celebrating National Psychic Week, celebrating your gift and that sense of intuition that you were born with and you were born simply amazing and you are self-sufficient and you are a gorgeous intuitive and you are a goddess meant to shine. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day. Mwah.